Welcome back. In today's video, we'll be looking at ways to fix Steam not loading or opening on a Windows PC or laptop. The methods in this video should work on all Windows versions, whether that's Windows 7, 8, 10 or future versions, however the methods may differ slightly, but not by too much. Sometimes Steam does not respond when you click on it to open it, and this is quite a common issue. Thankfully, there is one simple fix that should work, and that's where we'll start before moving on to some more solutions. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps, let's get into the methods. The first and most likely fix is to check in the task manager and end any Steam tasks that are running. Sometimes Steam can load into the background which causes the problem of it not opening properly. To try this method, first open the task manager. You can get there by right clicking on the windows icon in the taskbar at the bottom and then by choosing task manager from the list. In the task manager, look for an item called Steam and right click on it and select end task. If you can't find it, look under the background processes for a name called Steam Client Bootstrapper or Steam Client Service. Try right clicking on these and ending the task. Now open Steam as you would do normally and it should open correctly this time. If that didn't work, we'll move on to a few more quick things to try. First, make sure that your PC is capable of running Steam. If you have opened Steam in the past, then you don't need to worry about this one, but if you haven't, just check that this version of Steam is built for your PC. For example, it could be for macOS instead of Windows, or for a different Windows version. Your PC hardware may also limit the ability to open and run certain apps, although this is unlikely for Steam, but just check that your system meets the minimum requirements. The next method is to try running Steam as an administrator. Some apps may need to be run like this in order to open and work properly. Navigate to Steam and right click on it and select run as administrator and see if that works. If not, we'll move on to the next method. Next, think about any changes you have made that could have caused Steam to stop working or opening properly. This could be any settings changes, whether they were in Steam or in Windows. For example, you may have installed some new software that could be interfering with the app and causing problems. All you need to do is revert any settings changes you made or uninstall any apps that you have installed at the time the problem started appearing. Please note that you only need to do this if you are confident that the changes affected Steam. If you aren't sure, I would recommend just continuing with the methods in this video. The next method is to try a system restart if you haven't done this already. A restart could help refresh a lot of the settings on your PC and it could help fix the problem. It's up to you if you want to try this now or at the end of the video, but if you do restart now, when you return to the video, we'll move on to the final method. The final method is to completely uninstall Steam. After doing this, you should be able to just install it again like you did the first time. Remember to back up any settings, saves and files that are within the app's main folder, otherwise they will likely be deleted. To uninstall Steam in Windows, go to the main settings page first, then click on apps, and then find Steam on the list. Select it by clicking on it once, and then click on uninstall and follow the on-screen prompts. After doing this, install it again like you did the first time, and it should work again. Unfortunately, those are all of the methods I have. If after trying all of these it still isn't loading, it's likely that it is a very specific and unusual cause. The best place I would recommend further researching is on the Steam forums within your browser. Someone in there should know more about Steam and should have more fixes to try. As always, I will keep the description updated with any new solutions I find, and if any of you find a fix in the future, then it would be great if you could return to the video and post it in the comments to help others. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine, showing you 10 easy ways you can speed up your Windows PC. Help support the channel by visiting the store, the link is in the description and at the end of the video. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. And if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.